<laughs> Yo, welcome back. It's Friday. This week has flown by. I don't even know what I have done this week. Like literally, it feels like yesterday I was in the garden ripping it to pieces and now it's Friday again. So apologies, it's not really a week. It's more of a weekend vlog, but here we are. Like I said, it's been one of those weeks where it's just flown by and it's all it's all been a blur, but from the top of my head, what have I been doing? I've just been filming a bunch of content. I've been looking into stuff for my living room renovation, which is starting next week. Went to the studio, met a friend for a coffee, been to the boot camp, had a PT session. Oh, we started watching The Gentleman, which is a series on Netflix, Guy Ritchie thing. Got two episodes left, but um, can't watch them because um, my boyfriend is, he's gone back home for work. He has to go home to do certain parts of his job. So I haven't been able to watch it because there's two episodes left and I said, if you watch it without me and vice versa. Honestly, it's been, it's just been a bit, it's been a pretty boring standard week. Danny's just been over. It's just been one of them, but I've got a fun weekend planned. So bringing you along for the ride. I really want to try an experiment soon, which is I want to do a week with a somewhat strict routine I want to do a week without a strict routine and I want to see how it feels like I'm fine in myself but I think just with the way that my brain works I, I crave routine but I also hate it at the same time and I think sometimes it gets in my way and I think it's um I, I can't explain it like when Friday comes round and it feels weekendy I just feel like I can just go and get on with my day and do things and I don't think about time I don't think about I don't think about obligation I don't think about needing to do things by a certain time or at this time this is happening because it almost feels a bit like um restrictive I can't explain it it's a weird psychological thing that I think I get from having ADHD I'm not sure I'm not sure but it's just but when I feel like a weekend for example I don't know what it is I just feel more I feel happier I get loads of stuff done. I'm more product, pro they productive. I'm more proactive and I'm more boom, boom, boom. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just going at my own pace. And I think it's just, I don't know what, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. I've got my meds. God, I just had a rant there. Um, no, I just, um, I think, I think I just, I think it's because I have an expectation of myself to do this like routine, nine to five, Monday to Friday lifestyle, which some aspects of that is really helpful. And I always feel like I need to fall into this like very conventional bracket of like a working week and how people work and use their time. Forgetting that no, there isn't actually any rules and I shouldn't put so many expectations on myself. I don't know where I'm going with this conversation. I don't even know why I've started talking about it. Basically what I'm trying to say is I feel different on a Friday because it feels like it's the weekend and I've got work to do, but I feel a bit more yeah about doing it because I don't feel like I'm being confined to time. I feel like my time is mine and I'll do what the hell I want when I want to do it. I mean, I do that anyway, but for some reason I've got this pressure on me during the other four days of the week. So it's like almost like a compression, which makes me feel less flexible. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes people say I'm good at articulating myself and explaining things. Sometimes I think I talk absolute shit. <laughs> I got a bunch of new glasses from Specsavers. I'm a Specsaver ambassador, they just arrived. But I've not opened them all. I think I'm gonna do an unboxing uh, for TikTok in a minute when I get dressed. But I did open two. So the first pair, I will show these two. The first pair are these glasses. I've actually got these in a clear frame. But these are the, 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 the when I put a picture of me and my clear frames on the internet, last this time last year i think that's when specsavers first noticed me and then asked me to work for them which was great so if anything this this orange pair is quite symbolic for having this job which is great oh my god these are so cool i'm just loving the jeffrey dharma style glasses i mean i don't aspire to be jeffrey dharma but the 70s dad style glasses like this is a vibe <laughs> for me this is great i never thought i'd be into this funny how style changes over the years isn't it anyway uh, i'm gonna go and i think i'm gonna go and uh get dressed and i'm gonna put some relatively comfy clothes on today i'm gonna put some makeup on but relatively comfy clothes and um then i'm gonna do some work and then get ready for my weekend away well no to wear i'm having a girly sleepover tonight with some friends and my friends she's got a holiday cottage at the seaside so i'm gonna go there sounds very fancy doesn't it 
She's got a holiday letting. Her and her husband got it. Little cottage. I stayed there last year. And this little pe little cottage, Pebbles Cottage, it's called. You can book it on Booking.com. I'm gonna go there later. Just want to show off my new top. I got it from Shop Cider. Now I'm always being advertised their stuff, and everything that I see in the advertisements are right up my street, and they know how to target ads at me. And I've not bought from them, even though I've been advertised to for apps for months and months and months because I was just like, is this one of those dodgy sites like Wish? I just filmed a little TikTok here. There's my little stand. I've got this uh, magnetic phone stand that I put onto a tripod, which is brilliant. I'm gonna put this up because I'm not the hunchback of Notre Dame. These little Vivian Westwoods, they're beautiful. Oh, my favorite pair of them all. I think, I've, yeah, there's got to be these ones. These, they're, sli they're slightly green. And I, lo I love these. And the prescription, I can see. I did get a couple of, a uh, few other tops. The delivery, the, 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 the delivery's being, um, fuck, I can't speak. Um, <laughs> split into two different deliveries. But um, this, I thought this was a bit of me. It's a high neck, kind of bogey green, limey top with a, like a netted bit. And obviously you can see where it's a bit thicker to cover them. My titties. And then I got this one, which I thought was so nice. It's like a little cropped blue shirt slash thing. I'm just, I feel like my style is just, when I wear, I'm either like activity girl, gym goer that wears jumpers and chunky trainers, or I look like I'm about to go buy a VW camper van and follow Fleetwood Mac around. And this one, they do matching trousers for that one, but they, um, they didn't have my size. Or they're sold out. I will say one thing, like this looks a bit worn. Not worn as in someone's worn it, but it looks older. Maybe it's the denim, I'm not sure. Anyway, I need to pack for later. So I'm gonna do that first, so it's done. So I can, when I'm finished, I can just grab my shit and go. Oh, I love, I love wearing a hat. Oh, what? Is there a delivery driver? Nothing there! There's nothing that. Oh, yeah, there is something there. They lie. Wait, what's it got? Is that my parcel? Oh. I'll go back in a minute. Anything else that might be useful for? I got pajamas and I'm gonna get a hoodie because I know them probably gonna wear. Wanna wear a hoodie? Because it matches the pajamas. Oh, I'll bring the bear. I'll bring the matching socks as well. Got some pants and leggings. Cashmere socks. Let's take my ACDC t-shirt. Right, yeah, nice, cool, sick. Two pairs of pants just in case I poo myself. Pair of socks for tomorrow. Leggings for tomorrow. Bra top for tomorrow. T-shirt for tomorrow. Cashmere socks for bed tonight <laughs> with a hoodie. Pajamas. Maybe I'll just put the Crocs in my back of my car. I just need to put my smellies in there. I'll do that. I'll probably just take some makeup remover and just some, I don't know, maybe some mascara. Probably, I, probably don't, I don't think I'm feeling, I'll put makeup on. Yeah, I know I will, I'll put. Have the dicks arrived? That's the question. No, but something else has. Lush has brought out a Shrek range. How hilarious. So we've got Fiona shower gel, which I think smells quite, I said it smells quite apple-y, I feel, and cucumbery because it's got cucumber in it. But that's lol, that's lovely. Um, I'll put that actually in my sh oh, just in the shower there. Um, we've got the, um, we've got the ginger, <laughs> the muffin man, the muffin man! <laughs> Gingerbread bath bomb, a Shrek bath bomb that's got like grass in it and stuff. I don't know, swamp grass, grass, grass. And then they've got donkey. Bath fizz bomb. So they're fun, aren't they? My friend Josie loves Shrek. So I might pop her over one of these little bath bombs or something from here, because she'll she'll lose it. She loves it. And then we've got um then we've got some shower slime, Shrek shower, shower slime, and some uh, face masks, some face masks. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna take this to the, the sleepover tonight. I think that'd be quite funny. I just need to make sure I've got, uh... oh, I, do I need a brush? 
You know, you can do face masks without a brush, but it's just a bit easier to put it on with a brush, isn't it? Mm. So for my lunch today, I'm going to be having some um, fajita mix. I'll do it in a plot. I made that fajita mix last night, but I'm having it in a taco shell. Controversial. So I just make it like this. But it goes everywhere. You'll need kitchen rolls. Diane heard me crunching. And she's here to see what I'm eating. Baby girl. No. That looked good, didn't it? Girls, I love you, but fuck off. Excuse me. What are you doing up there? Rude, cheeky, get down. Lola. The parcel I've been waiting for today has arrived. This is my contribution to the sleepover tonight. So in York, there is a donut shop called Doe. I have been there before. It's, it's insane. They do the most incredible donuts. And they DM'd me the other day saying, we love your videos and um, we're a fan and all that, which is lovely, so nice. Um, would you like some donuts? Um, or would you like one of our special decorating kits? And as I'm having a girly sleepover, I was like, oh, well, you know what, actually, that would be really lovely. I'm having a girly sleepover next week and um, this would be an, a hilarious activity so <laughs> oh and my mouth is watering behold the penis <laughs> and we have icing we have all of this stuff we've got a whole kit to decorate dicks with oh my god this is absolutely Hilarious. <laughs> okay, we are en route to Caster on Sea. Katie's brought her dog Puddy's there. So I, yeah, sorry, I just grabbed some pizzas from Tesco and some salad. Where am I going? Ways. Women always make things phallic, don't they? Like they, they love decorating a cock or like putting cocks on things and cock straws and all that, especially like at Hindus and everything. Like we just love to be silly with a willy. Whereas I have never witnessed or come across like men doing like tit painting lessons. It just doesn't happen, does it? Men just end up getting naked and sort of tying each other to lampposts and leaving them abroad. It's no one's Hindu, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has got hair. And we've got quite a selection. Oh, everyone brought stuff. So we've all got Easter eggs, bought some mini eggs, got loads and loads of bits of booze and stuff. Ooh, yummy. Got some caramel crispies, grapes. Hey, you brought some face wipes, face wipes, face masks. And then the fridge is stocked. We've got some lovely little cocktails going on. I need to put a little snack station here. Ooh, -wee! the gills are somewhat behaving I'd say. And then in this corner we've got put, put, <laughs> and we've got oh a fossil. You mean camera oh, shy? Oh, 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 there's a little grumble then. <laughs> Crossroads? <laughs> Do something a bit. Yeah, hold on. No, do the crossroads dancing. What's oh, the yeah, crossroads? Yeah. Like the little you know. weird dancing. Oh yeah. Shoulders <laughs> only. Okay. Baby girls were pregnant. This, 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 this. <laughs> but they've already killed a guy. <laughs> Face mask number two. Oh, hold on, sorry, I'm putting hers on. Not the sheet number. Uh, we're gonna make some out of this, okay? Oh my god! Time to ice some willies. <laughs> oh, you're doing it. Oh, that's nice, Katie. Um, okay. Marbling. Marbling. Oh, well, that's well swelled <laughs> on that is, isn't it? Need a bit of manscaping. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, boy. These are good donuts though, actually. Mm. Like they're, they're like old school donuts. Mm. I had big hopes of, and or plans, 
of running in the sea this morning. Um, but I opted against it for two reasons. Reason one, it's really cold today. The wind is so cold, cold, cold. My nips are really hurting because they're just so, I'm so cold. And the other reason is actually just the, the, the general logistics and the fact because we went and got coffee and we brought our donuts and bringing everything down to then to have to change in. I was like, oh, I don't know if I can be bothered with that. So I didn't do it. And then Kat was like, what do you want to do? And I went, I don't really want to do it. She went, well, then don't. Don't do it because you don't do it for other people. I, and other people, meaning her husband, because I told him I was going to jump in the sea today and I don't know, he'll, he'll judge me when I go in on Monday and I haven't done it. Oh, it's so windy! I have left Pebbles Cottage. What a wonderful, just wholesome, girly time. I loved it. We watched Crossroads. We then watched Studio 666, which was a stark contrast, which is Dave Grohl's like silly horror movies made, which isn't really that scary. It's just gory and funny. But Kat had to look away for most of it because she was like, no, at all the gore. <laughs> really fun, slept well. Dogs had a lovely time. Beach was gorgeous, very, very cold though. And I'm now just, yeah, I'm gonna go see my mum for a cuppa. Yes, you okay? You all right? Yes, good girls. So we're back and um, mum got us Easter eggs, bless her. This one's for him, this one's for me. But Katie uh, last night also got us all an Easter egg, so I got a crunchy. So I've <laughs> got two Easter eggs at the minute, woo. I also got um, the boyfriend an Easter egg as well. He loves Toblerone, so I picked him up that one. But anyway, so I'm going for a meal tonight for my sister's birthday. Now, originally I was just gonna give her the box of donuts, the ever, the ever dukes, but I've had an idea, right? So I asked her who's going, and she gave me, she gave me the names of the people. So I'm gonna decorate them, but I'm gonna ice people's names on it. So I've got some icing pens, and I'm gonna ice everyone's name. <laughs> George is starting to <laughs> stretch a bit, but everyone else's looks great fun. Back in the car, I'm going for a, the meal. Do you know what I just did? Nothing. I just went and had a nap, I had a little nap, had a bath, washed my hair. To the merchants of spice. A wonderful time. Anyway, this is the outfit. A lovely bag and my big coat. This top that I got from Shop Cider. This belt is free people. I always go with like black belts. Oh my lord, no. <laughs> and then uh, I'll just put my Damson and Madder trousers on and some boots. I'm so cold. It's so cold today. I'm gonna go put my trackies on and chill for the rest of the evening. Oh, so full. So wonderful. What a lovely day. It's Sunday and I had flowers bought for me. Aww. Had a very, very chill day. I've just been chilling on my sofa with the girls drawing on the iPad. I've got a new design coming out for the shop. Well, it's 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 a current idea, but I've 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 I've, I've given it a vo I've upgraded it essentially, and I'm so excited for it. It's gonna be sick. I've been joined. Once again. Oh no. Oh no, the elastic band's gone in the bloody bottom. Now. So you get the line and you hook it to the hook first. Oh, and then you wrap it because then it's got its tautness. Oh, what a lovely afternoon. Taut. Tauty. I washed your little pillow. Oh, no, wait, where are you going? Oh, what have you done? Oh, you've not done it right, that's why. These are the pegs I got you. Oh, yeah, you bought me pegs. A romantic gesture. My euphorbia is fucking paying at the minute. Look at that. That's that one there. Look at that. It's well happy. Right, which one? Which, wait, I'll put it this bit because it's the lowest point. Ooh. 
fantastic. This is leftover food from last night's Indian. So I've made these little leftover bowls. This is what a hungry dog looks like. Are you hungry? Hmm? <laughs> I get circled like a shark. Every time it's doggy dinner time. And she's been waiting. She's been sitting in front of me for the past hour, crying. Just in case I'd forgotten that she exists. Is it this you want? Is it this? <laughs> right. Hang on. Wait a minute. Go on. And now I will be forgotten for the rest of the evening. Because I have done my job. <laughs>